What are you supposed to do when having happy birthday sung to you? Just smile and wave. What is the best thing to put on a blank wild uno? Pick up the whole deck. Swallow this card whole. How can you do it, Sinead? How can you blow up the house? My crew, my crew, my crew, my crew. My crew is two times two. Times two. Can't do math, I'll boo-hoo. Nah, nah. We're sicker than the food. My crew too big to choose. Nah, nah. We hang right next to you. Man, we even match our shoes. I said that we don't match our shoes. They will never believe you, and after that, keeps behaving like a normal dog. What do you do? That would be like Shook coming to us and being like, they will never believe you. And then going back to playing like this. Hey. What would you do? Because you're already scared of dogs. I feel like that would make you more scared. I'll stay quiet and be like, you're right. They won't <laughs> believe me. Especially you, because you, you're a troll. <laughs> no, you're a troll. If I would try to go back to sleep because I feel like I was in a fever dream. No, what I would do is I would be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. I would drag the dog. I'll, I'll, first of all, I'll get some bacon, and I'll say I won't give it to you until you Ow! talk to That was hard! Hey! Oh, you! You suddenly turn into a dog. What is the first thing you do? I would taste dog food. I would immediately go barking to my owner Ew. and say, Please give me food, because I want to taste what dog food tastes like, but I don't want to do it while I'm human. I'd make sure I'd be the most obedient dog ever, because you know why? Oh. Yes! Set the example no, for yeah, other yeah, dogs! Yeah. Not because I want to be obedient. They, they would think I'm missing! And, um... Wait, I don't understand. And I would be missing, they would go searching for me, and then if I started messing around, they would give away me, not knowing that <laughs> I, I was their son, like, <laughs> the brother or something like that. Are y'all hearing, Shiloh? No, if he turned into a dog right now, he'd make sure he's an obedient dog so he doesn't get given away, and they give away his son. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, so you're going, wait, you're going, you're going to be put back. Okay, you, man. Do, you just, I just, let me just put you on the ground. Oh my goodness! Oh, just get it away from you. Bro. Throw it, Shiloh, just throw it. Yeah, Suge is acting really wild right now, guys, so we're about to put him away. What are you supposed to do when having happy birthday sung to you? What do you guys do? I just smile oh, like... okay. Oh my goodness, that's what they said! Just smile and wave, boys. I was supposed to say that! Smile and wave, boys. Smile, smile and wave. wave. Kowalski report. We go kick through. <laughs> but Skipper, shouldn't we wait until they finish singing? <laughs> no, wait. To dig in on your private. It appears to be an annual festive ovulation, sir. Something to do with the time it has been since the date of your birth. We appear to have arrived at the same date once more. These locals are seemingly non-hostile, but there is evidence to suggest that they are celebrating the past of time and the inevitable approach of your death. I suggest proceeding only with extreme caution. Oh, it's your birthday, Skipper! Skipper, it's just your birthday! I don't know how to say it. I'm, I'm trying! Stare at the cake. Just start eating the cake. With your hands. Without removing the candles. As a power move, eat the still on fire candles as you eat the cake. And maintain eye contact with everyone in the room. Close mouth smile and wide eyes scanning the room. Don't forget to periodically look with excitement at the candles burning on the cake in front of you. Then, five or so seconds before everyone finishes, blow them all out. The thought of blowing the candles out shortly, but not right before the song ends, is great. Now I'm doing this for my 40th. Usually I wait till the end of the song. Me too! Shame! Now, maybe I should do that next time, it won't be so awkward. Yeah, yeah just blow it out as you sing it, and then literally just like, take a bow and just leave. Like. What becomes 10 times creepier at night? Old man in a lawn chair in the front yard not doing anything. Is he in your yard or his own yard? Why would it be in your lawn? Exactly. That could be in the day or the night. <laughs> Those painting of the woman and the man in the farmhouse. That yeah, yeah. Painting. Someone else said, I live alone and someone knocked on my door last night at 2.30 a.m. I was in the main living area, also where the front door is, and I did not move or make a sound for a full hour. Nope, nope, nope. You know how like sometimes, you know, when you're like, especially like when you're younger or something, you're home alone, and then someone knocks on the door and you're like, and you're like, you, everybody's just quiet. You're like, don't move, make a sound. Even when the delivery people are here, like, we actually made a skill on that, guys. Everybody, silent. <laughs> but especially on Halloween. No, we, like when you run out of candy, or if you don't have any candy. candy like, like when you don't have any candy, you just don't want to deal with it. You're like, because we did it like last, last October. Whoa! You just got bitten by a radioactive animal. What animal is it? What are your powers? And what's your superior name? Firefly. What's oh. your powers? Um, it, it it lights its butt and like and 
lasers them to death. And what's your superhero name? Laser butt. Pretty good. Ah! What about you? What animal? Um, spider. I can shoot webs like Spider-Man. Okay, you know what? <laughs> okay. You're, you're animal. I would I I would be a cheetah. My powers would be I can camouflage, and my superhero name would be Camo Cheetah. <laughs> What video game have you put the most hours into in your lifetime? Um, definitely Super Mario Galaxy. Super or Mario. Or Super Mario, Paper Mario, Color Spots. No, forget that. Super Bomberman. Oh my goodness, that took us day, oh, took hours. Oh. Super right. Bomberman R. We spent our entire Saturday on that thing. Like, it was oh I think it was so Saturday and Sunday, to be honest. No, 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 no. It was all Saturday? Yeah, it was oh all Saturday. Oh my goodness. No, it was because you were like, let's finish, let's finish, let's finish it tomorrow. No, because the thing is, every time you thought you were done, wait, 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 it was no, more. No, sorry, it was. Friday. Would you rather be a hero or a villain? A villain. A villains are more. A, a villains are more like complex. They're funnier. I feel like that interesting. I'm gonna say something like I would. If I could play a villain. I would play a villain only because it depends on the kind of like. I feel like the villains have such good complex storylines sometimes, even more than the hero. They don't develop. They're boring. Like, Superheroes are boring. And then you get cooler outfits sometimes. Like you can have the dark greens and the dark so, purple. Let me get this straight. You guys rather hang with Thanos? And Joker, and you had to like kick it and go I to like rob some banks and probably like. Okay, but like snap. that part. I have Thanos trust. He wouldn't snap me out of existence. I kind of want to be an anti villain, you know what I mean? Where they're like a villain, no, but they also no, no, do no, good no, no, things. No, no, no. Uh, that's called an anti hero. I mean, anti hero. Oh, put yourself in the shoes of normal life. Would you rather be the villain or the hero? I'll be the hero. Hero. But a cooler hero. But in a movie. If I, was like, like, if I was playing it in a movie, I would be a villain because I just feel like that that's if I was playing, cool. Oh, no, no, no. If I was playing it in a video game, I would be the hero. Marvel know. fans are Reddit. If you could remove any superhero in the franchise, what would you choose? Captain Hulk. Marvel. No, not Captain Hulk. Marvel. Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. You know what? I'm, I might say Hulk, too. Wow! Hulk's crying in the corner right now. I'm done. He's I'm so done. Listen. I'm so done. You no, look nice, right? I can't say Hulk. Hulk is indestructible. He's a good hero. I know. If I gotta do it by who's a better hero, Plus, Who's when he gave that taco to Ant Man, it was, it was funny. It was Who's the worst hero? Who's actually the least does nothing? Captain for the Marvel. Team? It was the worst one. No, 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 she has powers. Who does the the least for the team? Oh. Who literally does not have good powers? Uh, Who's that guy that can Hulk. go through walls? Who? Vision. He does nothing. Thank you. No, no. He you know, nothing. Vision could turn against him at any time. Well, first of all, Vision's no, he gone. Talks to me. He's but no, him. no. Because I know for one thing, you don't even know when Vision. Was introduced. Was right. Let's see. Sasha? Yes. What movie? What movie? Oh my! I know you're not testing me now. What movie? I know you're not testing wait, me. Wait, wait, hey, hey, what movie? Bro, why are you testing me now? What movie? Why are you testing me now? Just what movie? Mall Santas of Reddit. What is the weirdest thing a kid asked for Christmas? When I was five years old, I asked the Santa and J.C. Penney's at t the time for a real lawnmower, the kind that my dad uses. They had me hold a microphone up to my mouth. My answer, along with every other kid I presume, was broadcasted throughout the whole story. I can still hear the laughter from the adults. Good for you! You want to be an adult at an early age. Age five. A boomer. They were born a boomer. Wow. No, I'm talking about like at five years old, they already wanted a lawnmower. I commend you. You, um, how old are you? 50 something year old. 54. Not a Santa, but I have been a Mrs. Claus for the last few years, and I always ask the kids what they want while we do our crafts. My favorite was this four to five year old girl that told me she wanted one of those loud horns. She made a gesture like she was using one of those canned air horns, and she made a little <laughs> horn sound. She said she wanted to use it to wake up her baby brother when he naps in the daytime, so he knows what it's like. Who did it to her? First of all, she's like, so he knows what it's like. She's, she's like, you know what it happened to me? I'm gonna make sure it happens to my little brother. And she's like. Maybe you know, her baby brother did it. Oh, like crying. Oh, like when he cries. Oh, oh that was that's actually what? smart. When he cries, that's funny. What video game made you rage quit? You haven't played the game since. Hey, I'm gonna speak for you. Paper Mario Color Splash. That's true. You I, have it, for I literally haven't played that for three years because I couldn't get past something. Listen, here's the story. Ooh. Me and Child will play Minecraft together. Goodness, okay? no! Oh, I said for that. Shush! Me and Shaw were playing Minecraft together, okay? We had a joint world, we had a joint world, and we shared this chicken coop, and we shared the house, and we were gonna go get some diamonds, and we, we were doing, we were making it. No, no, Shiloh no. wanted to play. We had diamonds. I made a great chicken coop, okay? <laughs> I made it! I made it! Either way, it was our chicken coop. I made it! No, you liar, I made it! I either made it! Was, either way, I took loving care of it, okay? I fed them! Shiloh! I fed them! I, you, you, you did it! You couldn't join them with the cow horn! Listen, either way, Shiloh threatened to blow it up, and he was like, I'm gonna blow it up today, and he had the 
TNT there and everything. So I'm like, fine, you're gonna blow it up, I'm gonna blow up the house. So he blows up part of the chicken coop first. You did it first. Then I was like, you know what, fine. So I blew up the house. Now he rage quits. He's like, how could you do it, Sinead? How could you blow up the house? What is the best thing to put on a blank wild Uno card? Pick up the whole deck. Swallow this card whole. Flip the table and pick up the entire deck. For every second it takes, they draw a new card. Dang. Swap hands and go buy McDonald's. <laughs> what? Thanks for watching, guys! Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Yes, join the hashtag Onyx Squad and make sure you follow our Instagrams and our TikTok. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Bye.